Hey guys, look folk here and welcome to another FIFA 20 video and today guys we're doing the SBC analysis for the new Davison Sanchez player moments SBC and also guys a ridiculous amount of new players have been released into packs for the Copper Libertadores and also we've been finally given a gift by EA. It seems to be like all the things going on with Pez at the moment and how they like got more stream views last night than, than what FIFA was getting and all that kind of stuff that EA are trying to be like sort of kind to us right now and they've been given like the, um, like the reward packs for logging into ultimate team i've logged in for pretty much every single day that the game has been out for so we're going to be getting a free probably untradeable ultimate team pack but even so we're going to open that first and then take a look at the day winston sanchez spc so guys let me know if you were able to get anything good in these packs as well and uh, I'm going to start reviewing those new players that are in packs. I'm going to start reviewing them tomorrow because their prices might be a little bit too crazy at the moment. I mean, I know one of my fans is going to be very happy with the Tevez card that's being released into packs and stuff like that. Um, there's a few kind of like almost flashback cards. If you like, you know, that Tevez is technically a flashback. So is Adebayor, so is Valencia and stuff like that. And their card designs look absolutely insane. Sadly, there's not any icons yet. But I think we might still see one maybe get released on like Saturday night, maybe Sunday night or something like that. So uh, I still think maybe one or two icons could be on the way. I am a little bit surprised if they didn't see any today at 6 p.m. But even so, we're going to open up this pack first and then do the SBC uh, like analysis for Sanchez. So this video might be a little bit longer, but hopefully you enjoy it because you at least get to see. Rather than doing like two separate videos, just me opening this pack and then me doing the Sanchez SBC. I thought that I'd kind of put them together into one video and you guys might find it entertaining. But they're also doing the two for one pack offers as well, which is pretty interesting so i thought i might try and engage in that um but only for the ultimate packs and like the 100k packs maybe not for the 50k packs but anyway here we are with the ultimate pack let's just open it and get straight into it i won't get anything in the pack but even so let's just hope that uh maybe a free pack from ea uh, decides to give us something although it is taking literally um forever to open but uh yeah there's no um like copper libertadores any spc today it's only the spc for the sanchez um player moments card who i think maybe used to play as part of the copper libertadores but anyway the pack is opening are we going to at least get a walkout or something good it's going to be at least a board is going to be a walkout no it isn't as expected of course um so there we go with that but doesn't surprise me one bit. So that's the club. I'm not even going to look at what's in there. Um, and let's move on into the SBC analysis for this Sanchez. Now, where sadly the game seems to be struggling really um, at the moment. And, and, it, and it's sad really with, with the money that this company make that they can't um, keep servers up at, at 6pm. It's, um, it's a disgrace, but there you go. Finally, uh, the game just starts to load. I'd like to swear right now at the game, actually, with how bad the loading screens are. But, of course, my monetization would go for this video. So, anyway, the Davison Sanchez SBC. Uh, yeah, celebrating his win in the 2016 Copper Libertadores. 88 rated. Amazing pace on the face of it. Really good defending and physical as well as passing on the face of it. Looks average, in my opinion, for this stage of the game. Uh, but his dribbling looks great as well. Two segments to his SBC. I believe the 285 rated squads when I looked at 6pm. Uh, I just want to kind of make sure on that. And oh, come on, EA. For God sake i'm not even going to react to it um but just proof that you know i'd like to title this video um ea are so and so i think you can kind of guess what i'm trying to say but this is ridiculous uh, okay it finally it loads up well done 85 rated squad and another 85 rated squad with one in for me get a prime mixed players pack and a premium mixed players pack in return as expected shocking packs of course uh but let's have a look at his in games so that's finally something actually loads up quick for a change um two star skill moves and three star weak foot that's fine for a center back good work rate at a medium high obviously good having that high defensive work rate six foot two in height as well that's very good into his in-game stats really really strong paces defending as well looks absolutely superb and uh, like his stand tackle, his stand tackle, his interceptions, basically all of his defensive stats and physical stats as well are really awesome. 80 stamina for a centre-back is fine. It's not obviously the best, but um, I don't think it'd be too much of an issue for a centre-back. Um, obviously, if they were like a full-back or a winger, then the stamina at 80 would be an issue. But as a centre-back, it should be fine. Amazing strength and aggression with that good height is obviously going to be fantastic. Really good reactions, decent ball control and composure. To be fair, although his passing stats at 64 aren't the best overall, his passing and like the main stats that you'd want for a centre back are actually good. So his long passing at 75, his short passing at 85, like free kick accuracy, curve and crossing don't matter for a centre back. So actually his passing stats in you know, the short passing and the long passing are actually really, really good. So on the whole, his car looks fantastic. Having said that, of course, there are a lot of other awesome uh, centre backs from the Premier League. If we're going to be able to check them in time for this video... Um shocking company absolutely shocking i have a right to be angry as well just like every single person watching this video because the service should be running smoothly it, it's menu content and i it, can't do anything about it but look at this oh 
Unbelievable. Absolutely ridiculous. For, for a, uh, and this is... EA have ruined this video, basically. So, so don't blame me. Send all the hate to EA because they can't get the servers up and it's making this video very frustrating to watch, I'm sure, for a lot of people, as it is for me. But if we go into centre-backs from the Premier League, of course, we've got, like, the cards, you know, the Kante, the Virgil van Dijk's. They're going to be, obviously, a lot more expensive than the, what the, you know what this SPC is going to cost. I think with 285 red squads with one in fun, we're looking at at least 150,000 coins, but probably maybe slightly just under 200k. Of course, you've got cards like the flashback David Luiz, so I can't remember what his price was, but he's an amazing card. If you already have like the uh, Louise in your team, for example, like a gold Virgil van Dijk, there's no need to do this SBC. Um, but for example, we have like the flashback Asper Equator SBC. I think that the Sanchez SBC is a better card than the, than the flashback Asper Equator, in my personal opinion. I thought that another good player moment SBC that we did see recently was the 86, or maybe it's like a few weeks ago now, or whatever, or maybe a couple months ago, I'm not too sure, was the 86 Shah player moment SBC. He was actually a really, really good card as well. Yes, only 86 rated, but obviously was very good. And I can't even get onto the second page. Can you believe this? Man, this game. Bring on Pez, man. I I'm honestly considering, by the way, guys, moving to Pez next year, just so you are 100% aware of that. And um, especially with things like this right now, this is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, I'm going to have to finish the video after looking on this page because this is an absolute disgrace. Finally, it loads up. My God. Um, so you got like the, you know, the Laporte cards. Um, you know, obviously, you're not really going to use it. means like, you've got his inform and stuff like that. But yeah, I've got that flashback Asper Equator who does have a little bit uh, better pace and like a really amazing passing, but he lacks in height a lot, to be quite honest, uh, and a lot less physicality as well. But on the whole, I think the Sanchez card is obviously really, really good to do. But as I mentioned before, you know, if you've got players like a Virgil van Dijk already in your team, like a, and like a, a um, you may be like a, the flashback, David Luiz, or whatever version of David Luiz, the 90 rated card was. I don't think there's any need to go and do Sanchez then, but I think if you've got cards like, you know, obviously regular goal cards like Laporte or whatever, or maybe even the flashback Aspel Equator, I think he would be a better card than Aspel Equator. Um, on the whole, but yeah, I think it's a decent value for money SPC. Sadly, my train of thought is completely gone because I'm so annoyed at EA just for, for how bad their servers have been. And it, it sadly ruined the video, and it's not my fault, it's EA's fault for it. But um, hopefully, you can understand my frustrations because it shouldn't be happening to a game like this where you can't even go through the menus without having to spend like a genuinely about 20 to 30 seconds of loading. It's absolutely ridiculous. So, I, I you know, I apologize for that, but um. I shouldn't be apologizing. EA should be apologizing for this, to be quite honest. But anyway, guys, hopefully you have enjoyed watching this video. I think on the whole, yes, it's a great card. I can understand a lot of people doing this SBC. I think if he's definitely under 200,000 coins, which he should be, I think it's very decent value money for him because he, he, he's got all the meta stats that you'd want for a centre-back at this stage of for in my opinion. The great height, the good pace, the amazing defending and physicality, you know, decent dribbling stats, and also, um, you know, good passing stats as well for a centre-back, actually, you know, in, in, in his short passing and long passing. But anyway, guys, hopefully you have enjoyed watching this video. And I'll see you guys later.